What's going on, everybody? My name is Zayden, and you're at Reap What You Sow Gardening. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a little tour of our melon patch. Let's do this. So if you're not sure what a melon patch is, um, lately I've been watching too much David the Good, and I saw he just put, he just slapped some melon seeds in the ground, slapped a bunch of dirt on it, watered it, and grew some. So this is at my hours, and we have an, a sign for it too. This is pesticide free area, Little Toad Farms. No. And yeah, if you're wondering, pesticide free. Everything over here is pesticide free. Probably next year we'll use organic pesticides. But the thing is, I mean, there's nothing wrong really to use pesticides on. Also, I think this little pumpkin is going to flower tomorrow. So hopefully we'll get a nice little female pumpkin flower. Yeah, actually, before we do the tour of that, I'm going to see how the greenhouse looks. Because yesterday, I, yeah, look at all that. These are new cucumbers that have flowered. I think the transplant with the pumpkin pollen, I put it on the cucumbers, is fine now. I mean, they're literally in the same exact family. Pumpkins and cucumbers are related. They are related. They're in the same family, so I wouldn't expect anything off. Maybe a pumpkin-y flavored cucumber, which would be awesome, but a little bit off-putting if I wanted to sell it, you know, to neighbors. They would say, what the heck is this? Um, so, yeah. Don't always experiment or else you'll get people asking you questions. <laughs> but, yeah. Also, look at this. We got... Our German queen, not German queens, we got our beefsteak tomatoes ripening. Wow. So this is our cantaloupes. Now, we have honeydew and cantaloupes mixed in. Um, this is all cantaloupes. And there's ants all over the plants. They're not, they're not in the plants. They're not messing with the plants. They're just trying to go on there. Probably because, you know, a couple leaves might have snapped and the, the sugars came out. Yeah, but again, this is in the cucumber and pumpkin family. And I I absolutely love the leaves, how cantaloupe looks. Actually, I like the leaves of cantaloupe more than pumpkins, really. <laughs> but they're all, both beautiful. So then we have pumpkins, a couple of them. Sweet potatoes are doing good. What's next? We got tomatoes looking beautiful. Corn, um, more corn. And I transplanted for my compost turner because it was sprouting some patty pan squash seedlings. I got potatoes, more patty pans. Yeah. So, as a bonus, I'm going to show you all the other pumpkin plants and uh, beans for a bonus. So, this is the beans. And, yeah, I, I mean, they're, they're just beautiful. You got a little weave hoppers, but, I mean, he can weave hop all the way back to wherever he came from. So, yeah. Um... The corn is flowering a lot, but the thing is, like I said plenty of times, about the the male tassels, the pollen. It's not doing good with the male pollen, so, yeah. So let's go ahead and see other pumpkins. Wow. Actually, we, we have potato sprouting. I better put this in the cantaloupe rows. So the cantaloupe rows, that was what it was originally supposed to be for. Um, and I just said, hey, let me just put other nice plants in it. So we got nice pumpkins here. We got jack-o'-lantern varieties of pumpkin. 
And people are going to say, oh, Zayden, you carve pumpkins? That's so cool. Actually, no. I do not carve pumpkins. I eat them. I eat them. I never ate a pumpkin like that. But I've ate a spaghetti squash. So, spaghetti squashes are a type of pumpkin. And also, what we do, we also go by and take the dead leaves off and, you know, just throw them a little bit by the plant so they rot the roots. Because when you do this, look at the roots. They start out like that, coming out from the vine. And they go in the ground and they sprawl like that, like a tree. And look how beautiful the flower is. It looks like a starfish. Absolutely, you know, beautiful. Pumpkin vine. I love it. Whoa. Tell me pumpkins are not beautiful. No one can irresist. What, what is the word? Uh, no one can turn down and deny how good our freshly baked pumpkin pie is. Because that, that hits the spot. I don't care if it's uh, sweet potato pie tastes the exact same as pumpkin pie. But yeah, pretty much delicious. You got another one here. And let me show you that one again. Just for funsies. Yeah. Female flower. This is one last pumpkin vine. We'll show you. Okay guys, so this one here. This is actually another pumpkin vine. And you can see how the roots, they're literally just everywhere. Wow. Look at this one. And and that's not fake. They literally come out of the vine. So, yeah. And there's flowers who remove the dead ones and drop them in there. Because you see what happens. If you remove the dead ones, the flowers will rot and you may use this fertilizer again and again. And we also got beans that are just, you know, loving that trellis over here in this old garden. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and hitting that beautiful pumpkin-y like button. Thanks for watching, and keep on selling.